Let's see how to get started with GeoGebra. You want to go to www.geogebra, G-E-O-G-E-B-R-A dot org, O-R-G. And when you get there, you'll click on the download. You can do this every time you go to GeoGebra. You won't download a new version every time. It'll take you to the page where you will go to the GeoGebra web start. If you use the web start version of GeoGebra, it guarantees that you have the newest stable version of GeoGebra available. I always start from web start if I have access to the internet. I don't download GeoGebra. You can run this from any computer. You can be at the library, you can be at the LARC, you can be at home, you can be at your friend's house, and you don't have to worry about it adding unwanted things to their computer. When it opens, you get a screen that looks like this. Over on the left is something called the Algebra view, and you'll see what happens there as you type things in. The graph area in the center is called the drawing window, and down below is the input window. Let's input a function, and you have to input a function as an f of x or g of x form, like f of x equals, let's say, x squared minus 3. And notice that for squaring or for exponents, you use the little up arrow, the caret key that's above the 6 on the keyboard, just like you would on a graphing calculator. When you push Enter, the function is graphed. Now, if you want to change the window, you use the right button over here, Move Graphics View, or hit the Shift and Drag to adjust the window. If I click on this button, I can now grab the axis and I can zoom it down or up. I can move the graph left or right. I can zoom in and out. And with the scroll wheel, I can zoom the whole picture in or out. So this allows you to get a good picture of your graph. Now, if you want to take anything you have in your graphing window and save it in a Microsoft Word file or some other way to send it to me in the Dropbox, you simply have to say File, Export, Graphics View to Clipboard. And that pastes this picture, copies this picture into the clipboard, and then you can paste it into Microsoft Word. If you open Microsoft Word and click Paste, it will paste a very large version of the picture there. You can adjust its size and make it something reasonable. So, if you have graphs that you want to send me, that's the easiest way to do it. Now, if you have a function and want to get rid of it, you can either deselect it, it's still there but hidden, or you can right-click on it and then delete. That those options came with the right mouse button or a control click on a Mac. And if you delete, then it's gone. Most of what we'll be doing to start with are lines. Lines can either be written as y equals or as their function form f of x or g of x equals. You can give a line any name. You could call it um, line 1 of x. And you could call it 2x minus four. And the function name is line one. You don't have to use an F. You can use whatever creative name you want for it. If we want to use cost or revenue, we can call them C or R or cost or revenue or whatever. You can also type lines in in their general form. 3x minus 2y equals 7. And it puts that in. If you want to change it to slope-intercept form, if you right-click on it, you can put it in y equals mx plus b. That's the slope-intercept form of the line, and there it is written that way. If you want more decimal places of accuracy, you can add more. This is exact, so you won't see the difference. But you can change the decimal places of accuracy. You can play around with these things and find other things you can do. Uh, if you want to change the look of one of your objects, you can either right-click on it in the algebra window, or you can right-click on it in the graphics view. Go to Object Properties, and it lets you change the color, the thickness, the style, and a few other things about it. You can change the format, you can change the accuracy, 
You can change whether you want the object shown, whether you want the label shown, the name, it'll put the letter A there, or the value, it'll put the equation. Or you can write your own caption to go there. And then the caption you could say uh, cost or something, if that's what it were, was. And notice that there it shows up in the graph. Play around with this some more and you can find all kinds of other things you can do to make your picture different or pretty. If you click on the background, right click, you can change the graphics view, you can change the color of the axes, you can change the color of the background, you can change the color of the grid, and you can show the grid and make it as ugly as you like. Okay, I wouldn't recommend that, but that's something you can do if you want to.